Protests are happening now around Nigeria and people are beginning to call it food protests. And when you hear of food protests, the world does not like that. But what does this actually mean? Is it that there is shortage of food in Nigeria? Or is it that the cost of buying food is very high? We have to separate these two things to know what actually is happening. And what is the government doing about it? And again, we will also tell you what actually is the real cause of this protest that is happening in Nigeria. You will be surprised. First of all, we urge you please to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. The government have said under President Bola Tinubu that they are not going to import food into Nigeria. And secondly, they are not going to set up a price control board to monitor the prices of food. Why do they say so? First of all, you may have seen in the news where they burst into some warehouses in Kano and said that these middlemen or some big merchants are hoarding food, packing them in warehouses so the, the prices will go high and then they will bring them out and sell to make more profit. They even went as far as sealing a very popular shop in Abuja saying because they are hiking up the prices artificially, though I understand the shop has now been opened. And that is why Tinubu said, I'm not going to set up a price control board to monitor this things. Who will monitor? Maybe you monitor the shops in the cities. What of in the local markets, in the villages, where majority of Nigerians actually shop? So it makes no sense setting up price control board. This is food that we are talking about. Then again, the government said, rather what they will do is to encourage farmers, give them seedlings and the input so that they could produce more and then work in the so-called uh, animal husbandry project of the federal government. You know them, they always come up with these nice policies, policies and at the end of the day, nothing happens. But what is actually going on? Is there food scarcity in Nigeria? I do not think so. You can quote me right or wrong because there has not been any major change in the status quo in Nigeria. We have no drought at the moment like they have in East Africa. There is no low-cost invasion that have eaten up crops here and there. There is no major flooding that has swept away farmlands. Even the banditry and the herdsmen that are always in conflict with farmers, it looks like it is even decreasing. So what is the problem? We do not have real statistics in Nigeria, but it is obvious that Nigeria is still producing food at the same rate. So the government needs to understand what the problem is. It is simply that the money to buy food stuff is not available to Nigerians many people do not have the money even if you import food into nigeria and flood the whole market people still have to pay money to buy them unless you subsidize the food you import and that would be a very complicated process so it's not about food scarcity it is scarcity of money to purchase the food that is what is going on and why are the prices of food high? I will just give you two reasons. One is what you call that Nigerian economy is now kind of co-joined with the US dollar. It has become a Siamese twin situation. When the dollar goes up in Nigeria, everything in Nigeria goes up. And you can go to the market, try to buy avocado pear that somebody planted 10 years ago. The tree is growing, producing pear, 
and they don't have to make any more input. Just pluck it at the right season and sell it. The prices have doubled or tripled. Ask the owner, why is this thing expensive now? The first answer you will hear from them and you will be shocked is that the dollar have, is very, very high. And you ask them, what has the dollar to do with avocado pier? They will tell you every other thing else is now expensive. So basically, he wants to sell avocado to buy bread. And the bread has dollar input in terms of flour or whatever chemical they use in baking bread. So those who import those things, that makes the price of bread high. And if you usually used to sell to avocado pier to buy a bread of 1,000 naira now, you cannot afford it more because the bread is now selling 2,000. So he has to hike his own price to do it. So that is a spiral effect of the cost of dollar. And I have one very good suggestion for Nigeria. It's time we stop using the Naira and just go straight to the US dollar so that we will stop all this mathematical jingoism, checking the prices of dollar and the prices of gold all the time. So for the high cost of food in Nigeria, you just have to blame it on the dollar. The second cost of high food prices in Nigeria is an after effect, a fallout effect of that removal of petroleum subsidy, which the president did the very day he was inaugurated without thinking through what the implications could be. Why do I say so? The federal government can increase VAT tax on consumer products or consumables, the local farmer in the village may not even know about it or feel it because they hardly go to shop right to any of these big shops. Some don't even drink beer or mineral uh, uh, soda or whatever you call it. They don't, it doesn't consign them. So VAT increase doesn't have effect. You can live your kind of taxes. Electricity tariff can go up. Okay, the bourgeoisie, the elites, the city dwellers will complain, but they're still going with their life. But majority of Nigerians are not living in the city. They don't even have electricity. But once you touch petrol price, once it goes up, everything in Nigeria goes up. Why? Because even the remotest villages, they make use of motorbikes, kekena pep, even uh, small boats that use petrol engine. They use buses to convey their food items to evacuate them from the farms to the city. So once that fuel price goes up, the, 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 the transporters will increase immediately. And the farmer will equally increase in order to be able to pay the transporters and then make some reasonable profit. So it has very direct effect on Nigerian economy, no matter how local it is. That is what is going on. Once you touch the fair price in Nigeria, you have touched the life of these farmers and everybody for that matter. Because transporters, their economy is, if the price goes up, the prices that charge the passengers will go up and the spills around everywhere in the economy. These are the two major reasons why food prices are up and why people just are not able to cope with the prices. Because as the transportation cost is increasing, the people who have these uh, food items increase their own prices. The civil servant, his salary is not increasing. The megad, the salary is not increasing. People, normal workers, and that is why the Labour Congress is also campaigning all the time for increase in salary. Salary doesn't change in Nigeria, but we know that a bag of rice can double in Nigeria within one year. So with 50000 per bag, if you're a civil servant, you cannot afford a bag of rice in one month. Otherwise, you will not transport yourself to work. So what is the way out of this log jam that Nigerians have found themselves in? 
the government must think in the direction of doing something about the exchange rates of the dollar to the naira and also about the cost of petrol or diesel or whatever they use in driving cars and all kind of transportation uh, uh, um, systems in the country. These two items have direct effect on food prices in Nigeria. So whether you set up a marketing board, whether you import food or you do whatever, you have to touch these two items. Otherwise, when you import the food, you are still going to use the exchange rate that is available for the dollar. My suggestion is that Nigeria should forget the Naira and we will start using the US dollar so that we do not have to do all these calculations and we don't have to talk about increasing the exchange rate. I don't know what you think about this, but please go to the comment section and let us learn also from you. Like the video, share.